Hi, my name's Todd Carver from Retool Studios. We're here at the Boulder location today, fitting Robbie uh, to his new road bike. He's got a history of knee pain, what's called chondromalacia patella. Um, other than that, he's got a broken um, right arm that he feels he sits a little bit crooked on the bike. He's in no pain currently. He's racing a full um, Cat 3 um, road race schedule this summer, and he's looking to step it up in the fall at cyclocross. He races locally with the Open group, which is Cat Pro 1-2, um, so he can really step it up there this fall. First thing that jumps out is he's got narrow bars. He's got 42 centimeter width handlebars and a, a relatively short stem for a rider who's six foot five um, racing competitively. Um, other than that, his general fit to the eyeball doesn't look that bad. I can see why he raised his saddle a little bit though. We're talking about a dynamic bike fit system with the retool. Um, so we're going to be testing him under specific power outputs. We're going to start at 150 watts and then bring him up to probably 300 or 350 and record full body kinematics on both sides of the body under that load um, to um, observe his movement patterns in a more quantitative fashion so we can make the right changes. Another thing I noticed right away is that he, he dropped his left hip on the bike. Um, during the um, initial evaluation before he got on the bike, we had him on the exam table. It looked like he maybe had a short left leg. Uh, when he stands, his left hip drops a little bit as well. When he's on the bike, it really drops. This is probably one of the reasons why he feels crooked on the bike, because he is crooked on the bike. And one of the things we'll be doing with the retool hip marker is trying to, to level the pelvis as much as possible and um, get that um, as, sim as symmetrical as possible and as quiet as possible. 42, negative 5. So what I'm seeing initially with this data is a um, little bit of a short reach to the handlebars. His elbow angle is a little bit too tight. His back angle is a little bit too high. He's not extending the knees far enough. Before and after the saddle looks pretty good. I'm widening the stance width, so I'm bringing the feet out a little bit on each side and evening the cleats up there, shifted a little bit off, and that could have been contributing to pulling him off center on the bike. So just evening the cleats and widening the stance. The changes we're making to the bike, we raise the saddle five millimeters and we're dropping the bars five millimeters, and we're going to put a 130 stem on there. The reach between the saddle and bars is too short, so that tells you to lengthen the stem and then his back angle was too high and that tells you to drop the bars. So now for the most important part of the fit, we need to give the rider information um, so that they can get this position back in the future. So on any other bike uh, that they purchase on the road or maybe on his cross bike or his mountain bike, you can set the saddle height and things like that, the same as we have him here. So we have um, some, well, new, it's not new anymore. We developed this within the last year. It's called the Zen. And this is a handheld digitizer. So um, similar to the LEDs that we use on the rider, this has LEDs on the body of the, of the wand. So there's four of them. So when you touch this point to something, it knows where that point is in 3D space by the orientation of these four LEDs. The accuracy of this device is submillimeter. So you see a cluster on the screen, it usually represents about a micron. So these first three points are just creating the plane that the bike is in. So when we take all of our other measurements, they're, they're accurate in all three dimensions. The whole bike is in the computer, and what we do is we print a report from that that has all the measurements on there. When Robbie came in, um, we had a rider with a history of knee pain and a brand new bike. Um, he's been he, he rode it twice. Um, he felt pretty good on the bike, but once we got him up on the bike and uh, got the retooled data, uh, we were able to raise the saddle five millimeters, give him a little bit more leg extension, and we were able to level out his pelvis a little bit by putting a lift under his left cleat. He's got a short left leg and he drops the hip on that side. Um, so we were able to level that out a little bit. We were also able to straighten his knee tracking out a little bit on the left um, by bringing the stance width out. So I shifted the cleat, brought the foot out a little bit. Um, we were able to put him into a more aerodynamic position by lowering the handlebars and also lengthening the stem.